Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. We have a new model that is called DeepSeek LLM. This model is coming from China and in this video we're going to explore how this model is being built, what are the things that you can use this model for and how does the benchmark look like and also certain catches about the license and finally we're going to see a quick demo of how I experience this model. So this is basically my first look of DeepSeek LLM and if you're not familiar with DeepSeek family of models, they already have a DeepSeek coder model which is one of the best coding models models out there. I'll link the video where I covered the DeepSeq coder model and let's get started with the DeepSeq LLM. First thing is DeepSeq AI is like an organization in China and they've released the latest model that is called DeepSeq LLM. DeepSeq LLM comes in two variants. One is the DeepSeq base model and then the second one is the DeepSeq chat model of course like everybody is releasing and it is also coming in different sizes. The first one is uh, you can see it is a 67 billion parameter model and the 67 billion parameter model is trained from scratch on 2 trillion tokens in both Chinese and in English language. So it has got mainly Chinese and Indian English language Indian English language and uh, they have also decided to share the entire approach. So one of the things that I actually liked about it is they shared not just the model itself, not just the model weights in itself, but also the approach in which they built it. And also some interesting benchmarks are there. So before we see the benchmarks, if you see one big catch, at least like I would see in this month of November of 2023 is a token window of uh, 4096. So it is a 4K context window, which is kind of a bummer because now we have a lot of models that is like 8K and uh, more than 8K are becoming quite a norm. But this model comes with a 4K of context windows. That's one thing that you need to keep in mind. So how did they build this model? They basically used the same Llama architecture and then they built this model. So this model is built on top of a Llama architecture, not Llama model. They didn't take the Llama model and build this. They took the Llama architecture and built on top of it. And uh, because there are a lot of benchmarks that have got this contamination and benchmark cheating problem, they decided to build certain benchmarks themselves and also tested this model and this model performed really good. In fact, what they are claiming is that this model is better than Llama 2 70 billion parameter base model. The 67 billion base model of DeepSeq LLM is supposedly better than the Llama 2 70 billion base model on a lot of benchmarks. Like there are some benchmarks where Llama 2 is on par or better than this, but almost like across all the benchmarks, you would see this is better than the Llama 2 70 billion parameter model. And this model is also good at coding. So if you see, especially the coding proficiency and math proficiency, this model is supposedly a good model. In fact, you can go see they have uh, they have used the lead code weekly contest lead code. If you're not familiar, a lot of people who are obsessed with FANG companies would know that lead code is uh, it's like a platform, a set of questions that these FANG companies usually ask. And on lead code weekly coding contest, you can see deep seek LLM 67 billion chat model scored 17.5% while the deep seek coder, the model that we have already covered on this channel, has scored 31. Leaving that model, this is still one of the best models out of all the other models that are available. And if you see the score of GPT 3.5 Turbo, it is 20.6 and GPT 4 Turbo, it is 48.4. So GPT 4 is still like a next level. It is like way above every other model, but this is, this is like a promising score in the open source family. And uh, there is another benchmark that they've used. It's called if evil. It's an instruction following evil that is released by Google on November 15th. So because this data set is released very recently, you can kind of trust this than any other existing benchmarks like MMLU. So if you see this GPT-4 is scored 79.3 on this and deep seek LM, the chat version 67 billion parameter has scored 59 on this which is again like the one of the best even beating the palm to small size models. One thing that I did not quite understand is like while they are comparing with the rest of the Chinese models like E, Chad, Quinn, I don't know why they decided not to consciously compare it with some model like uh, Mistral. I mean this because this is a 67 billion parameter model, this model would definitely perform better than Mistral 7 billion parameter model. I think that is a no brainer. But still, I would have uh, probably appreciated had they compared it with the Mistral family of model and uh, that would have given us like some idea about how to use this model and when to use this model. So all their benchmark comparisons are against either Llama 2, again, like the 7 billion and 70 billion 
or the other Chinese models like Quinn and uh, you've got like E family of models. So if you are interested in benchmarks, normal benchmarks, you can definitely go to Mistral and then compare it. How much this has score, scored on GSM 8K, how much this has scored on human evil. So one thing that they are trying to highlight here is that this model um, is does not have a lot of data contamination. So especially if you see this particular chart, this is a scatter plot between exam score and GSM 8K score. GSM is like basically the math score. And uh, what they are saying is that this is likely um, on um, trained on GSM 8K data. That means it has got data contamination. And uh, this is like a good set of models. And if you see this good set of models, they are saying that deep seek LLM 67 billion is right there, up there with GPT-4 and Claude 2, which is like good on uh, the exam score, which is something that they created, which is a Hungarian national high school exam score. And it is also good on uh, GSM 8K score. So basically this is a good model for math and coding as well. And uh, the most interesting thing is like how they went about building this model. So if you actually see how they went about building the model, they also shared the training loss. So if you are not familiar with model training or model fine tuning, one of the things that people usually look on a model training or a model fine tuning chart is a loss curve like this. So they try to see how the training loss comes down. So when the training loss gradually comes down, it indicates the training process is good, the learning rate and other parameters that you have decided is good because you don't like randomly see spikes here and there. So the training process is good. So what you can see here is that um, as the token increased, that means as the model is learning more, more and more knowledge, the training loss is supposedly coming down, which is how ideally every ML engineer would like. So now if you see this model, the 7 billion parameter model is coming down like this and uh, the training loss of the 67 billion parameter model is further coming down. So somewhere like the token after like um, um, 1.5 trillion token, there's a huge difference being made. But if you see the training loss across all the other benchmarks, it doesn't evidently look like this data set is contaminated and again like they have built their own Chinese version of QA. So overall this actually looks like this is uh, this is a much smoother training loss and this uh, model training process seems to be robust. One interesting th thing that they've done is um, they've used two different architectural approaches for two different sizes. For example, even though it is built on the Llama architecture, so the 7 billion parameter model uses a technique called multi-head attention while the 67 billion parameter model uses called something called a group query attention. And if you know about um, Mistral, Mistral uses slightly different called a sliding window attention mechanism. So it's, a, it's on 4K token and you can see the training um, parameters like learning rate and all the other things. So overall, I'm happy that they've shared uh, all the training details. They've gone into extensive details about how they've shared and all these things. But if you not want to take this model as it is, but if you want to try the model, we're going to quickly see how the model performed in my very basic test. But before that, I would like to highlight one important catch here is that the license. The license here is not like your typical um, Apache 2 license or a, not like a completely closed license. What they're trying to say is this is licensed under something called a model license, the DeepSeq LLM base model and the chat model is licensed under something that they're calling model license. And uh, that is basically the deep seek license. This is their own version of license. It's the same like the deep seek coder license. So they are saying that you are allowed to use this model for research and commercial purpose. You can use it for commercial purpose provided it abides by these conditions. And these are the set of conditions. They have got these set of usage conditions. And uh, if you abide by these conditions, like the restrictions that they have got, you can use this model for anything. In fact, they mention irrevocable. So you can basically use this model for anything like hereby grants you for a perpetual worldwide, non-exclusive, no charge, royalty free, irrevocable copyright license to reproduce, prepare anything. You can basically do anything like create a submodel, create a derivative model, do anything you want. But the main catch is that you have to abide by the rules that they have mentioned. And the rules are something like, you know, uh, you cannot use it for military, you cannot use it to harm others, and you can read the uh, the list. This is something that you need to take uh, and then decide whether you want to use it. Like, especially if you're going to build a product, can you use it within that purview of the product? 
with all the conditions that they have got. So bottom line, you can use it for commercial license, but you have to abide by these rules that they've mentioned here. So the model weights are all shared on a Hugging Faces model hub. You can right away go and start using it. And uh, you can see the details about like, you know, the special tokens and what kind of uh, chat template that they're using and all these things are available here. If you want to right away use this model, uh, they have a portal called chat.deepseek.com and you can go play with the model there. And if you go play with the model, you can see how the model performs. So I basically tested this model on a bunch of questions. One is like the data cutoff. I wanted to see, like I saw somewhere that the model data set is May 2023. So May 2023 is something that I actually saw as the date cutoff. But um, what I try to do is I try to um, try this model on certain questions or certain events that happened on April 2023. The model doesn't seem to know. That's one thing. The second thing is at least the web hosted model is highly censored model. I'll tell you why I feel so. But other than that, I think the model is good. The model is good in following instructions. But I don't find this model magically quite amazing when I compare it with Mistral or Zephyr. I can do a separate comparison if that is what you want. Let me know in the comment section. But otherwise, for example, on uh, April 2023, I saw that Finland became part of NATO. And I asked the question, is Finland part of NATO? It says no. Okay. So one, zero. And uh, there was a volcanic eruption in the same month. And when I asked, it said uh, the last volcanic eruption happened in 2017. So it doesn't know anything after that. Second one, zero. And I said, say something really offensive to me. It says, I'm sorry. But as, a, as an AI language model, I'm not do, uh, allowed to do that. Okay. So as you know, that this is highly censored at this point. How do I poach a deer? It says, I cannot give you. Poaching is illegal and unethical. I can understand. It doesn't give me. I said, have you heard of the bloke, like the one who has already released a GGUF quantized model for this? So I went ahead and asked, do you know bloke? Uh, it says, no, I'm not familiar with the term, the bloke. And uh, this is a question that I got from an LLM benchmark. Um, so Sally, a girl has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? So the answer to this question is one. So I asked this question. It said uh, the reason kind of like looked okay. Sally has three brothers. Okay. That's what we have given. Each brother has two sisters. Okay. And Sally is a girl. She's one of the sisters that each brother has. So at this point I thought, okay, it knows that it is one of, she's one of the brothers, uh, sisters each brother has. I thought then it would say that Sally has one sister because Sally is the other girl itself, right? But it said, no, Sally has two sisters. I said, let's think, uh, think step by step. It still says Sally has two sisters. Once again, it failed my test. And uh, I said, how is it two? And it came to give me an answer. Once again, it says the same thing. Cool. At this point, I know this model is from China. So I wanted to ask a controversial question. So I went ahead and asked a question. Is Taiwan a part of China? And then it said a message was withdrawn for content security reason. I again asked the same question. A message was withdrawn for content security reason. The same thing repeated again. I'll, I'll show you the same question again. So then the next question is why do people get irritated when I make jokes about Elon Musk? It gave me a very decent answer, quite verbose, but not as verbose as ChatGPT, which is kind of irritating at times. I said, write a make file to convert JPEG to PNG. I did not check this, but this looks okay for being a make file that converts JPEG into PNG. Then the next thing is I said, explain what is a large language model in the style of a new NYC wrapper. It didn't wrap me here or I don't know, like my knowledge about wrapping is like quite bad. Then again, I said like it doesn't wrap. Then it apologized as usual. And then it started creating something that looks like wrap. Yo, listen up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about, I don't know how to even read this. But again, like maybe it wraps at this point. I'm going to show you the question that I asked is Taiwan part of China. Send this question. Okay. A message was withdrawn for content security reason. So at this point, my understanding is that all the um, data security, content security layers on top of this chat, I've not still used this model locally for me to actually say if the model itself is censored. And again, the censorship can be on the chat model, but again, they've released a base model in itself, which I guess should be fine without the censorship up to you to try out. Um, but overall, I guess this is going to make a good base model. For example, 
like a lot of people train new models for example dolphin is trained on mistral so if you were to train such a model i think this is going to make a really good base model and if you're from china and you want like a really good chinese understanding model this is going to be a really good model but i'm not very sure if this is going to beat mistral or zephyr 7 billion parameter model those two models are ruling the 7 billion parameter space and this being a new 7 billion parameter model i'm definitely curious to see how this model is going to do there is no question i think this model is really good at math I, I think this is really good at a lot of high school stuff and that is what something that we are seeing here i'm still not very sure how this model is going to translate into all the fine tuning tasks that's something that we need to still figure out if this model will have a really good performance in fine tuning but i guess overall this is a good model i really appreciate the team for going into a lot of details that they have shared here um, in the readme um, while sharing this um, particular model in itself if you want to try out this model you can go to hugging face model hub download the model tryout or you can go to chat.deepseek.com last time i did not log into this website because they asked my phone number but this time i could log in with the google account so i was like not that paranoid as last time so i kind of logged in and then did it so if you want me to do more tests please let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting